The movie begins as Robert Angier with a stage name, The Great Danton, attempts a transporting trick that involves walking under a giant electrical machine with a Tesla coil and then disappearing through a trapdoor. Except that he falls straight into a giant tank of water that has been placed under the stage and is automatically locked inside. A man in the audience, who we shortly learn is fellow magician Alfred Borden, stage name, The Professor, forces his way beneath the stage in time to see Angier drown. In the next scene, Borden is on trial for murdering Angier, who we learn was his greatest rival. Cutter is revealed to be Angier's engineer, the man who builds the machinery for his tricks. Cutter confides to the judge that the machine Angier was using wasn't built by him, but by a wizard, and it legitimately did what it appeared to do. The trial does not go well for Borden, and he faces execution. Later, in jail, Borden is approached by the solicitor for a collector, Lord Caldlow, who is interested in buying his secrets, particularly the secret of Borden's famous transported man trick. The same collector has also bought all of Angier's equipment and props. When Borden refuses, the solicitor threatens that Jess is in danger of being declared an indigent orphan and sent to the workhouse unless his patron intervenes. As an incentive, he gives Borden Angier's diary, which documents the time he spent in Colorado trying to learn Borden's secret. Borden's reading of the diary in prison frames the second part of the narrative, which is from Angier's point of view. Angier is on a train in the Rocky Mountains, headed to Colorado, on his way to see the notorious scientist Nikola Tesla. Disembarking at the train station in town, Angier is taken by coach to the inn, where he gets an unusually warm welcome from the hotel staff. Angier asks if a ride can be arranged to take him up to Pike's Peak the next day, but is told that the peak is closed for experimentation. The next day, Anger is dropped off on a dirt track in the woods, at the farthest point the carriage can take him. He makes his way up to the fence surrounding a clearing. He is immediately thrown back as the fence is electrified. Tesla's assistant Ali comes out of the gatehouse, thinking at first that Anger is another intruder, then recognizes him, saying he's seen Anger's London show. Anger says he's come to ask Tesla to build him a machine like one that he believes Tesla built for Borden, the machine that allows Borden to do the transported man trick. Ali says he can't help Angier, and Angier heads back to the hotel, disappointed. Ali takes satisfaction when Angier correctly guesses that Ali is holding a gold watch in his hand. Angier sits down in his room and begins decoding a diary he stole from Borden, which is encrypted with a particular five-letter word passcode. Borden's diary frames the third thread of the narrative, which goes back to the very beginning. Angier and Borden are partners, up-and-comers working for an elderly magician named Milton. Milton also employs Cutter and Angier's wife Julia. Their best trick is an underwater escape act. In this act, Angier and Borden are planted in the audience and called up to the stage to tie Julia's wrists and ankles before she is hoisted up on a pulley and dropped into a water tank. A curtain descends on the tank, and Julia slips the knot around her wrists and escapes using a trick lock on the tank. As a safety precaution, Cutter is positioned stage right, behind the curtains, with a stopwatch and an axe. Angier and Borden are on friendly terms, though Angier is somewhat concerned that Borden might be using a knot that is more difficult for Julia to slip. One day, Cutter sends Angier and Borden to watch a Chinese magician, Chung Ling Su, and figure out exactly how the man makes a heavy goldfish bowl filled with water and goldfish appear from under a cloth. Borden immediately deduces that the old magician is really putting up a front. He's holding the bowl between his legs under his skirt hiding the strength required to accomplish the trick by always appearing frail in public. As his prize for working out the fishbowl trick, Borden gets a few minutes on stage assisting Milton during a performance, where he performs a trick where a bird and cage disappear simultaneously, and then the bird reappears. A boy in the audience becomes upset when he realizes the bird in the cage isn't the same as the one that reappears. Borden tries to help the boy's aunt, a woman named Sarah, to console him. After the show, we discover that the bird in the cage has to die to achieve the illusion. As Borden is seen tossing the original bird in the trash, Borden and Sarah strike up an acquaintance and become romantically involved. Disaster strikes during the next performance of the underwater escape. Borden ties, stops, and then reties the knot around Julia's hands as they prepare to put her on the hoist. She can't manage to slip the knot underwater, and Cutter isn't able to break the glass of the tank in time to save her. Julia dies on stage, leaving Angier devastated and Milton ruined. During the funeral, Angier confronts Borden, asking which knot he tied. His answer is that he doesn't know, which Angier cannot accept. This is the beginning of their bitter rivalry. Borden marries Sarah and starts doing his own act, the climax of which is a bullet-catching trick. The secret, as Borden explains to his pregnant wife, is that the bullet is palmed, so that it's already in the magician's hand when the gun is fired. All that comes out of the pistol is gunpowder. Borden is next seen performing for a very rowdy audience. 
After whipping out the gun to silence the audience, he asks for volunteers, then hands the gun to a man who is actually a disguised Angier. Angier, knowing the trick, deliberately puts his own bullet into the gun and confronts Borden again about the knot he tied. When Borden's answer is still, I don't know, Angier shoots him, blowing the ends of two fingers off his left hand and jeopardizing Borden's career. One day at a bar, Angier is approached by Cutter, whom no one will hire because of his association with Milton. They start their own act, with Angier performing as the Great Danton. His lovely assistant is a blonde bombshell named Olivia Wenscombe. Because Angier doesn't want to get dirty, Cutter comes up with a new version of the disappearing bird in the cage trick where members of the audience keep their hands on the cage as it disappears. Angier debuts the trick at his show. The audience is negative at first, complaining that they've seen the trick numerous times. But Angier says he'll make it a bit harder. He asks for two volunteers to come up from the audience. An elderly woman and a man who is actually a disguised Borden. Although Angier recognizes Borden the moment he puts his hand on the cage, he is unable to stop Borden from jamming the machinery. The cage malfunctions, causing the bird to be killed on stage and the other volunteer's hand to be caught. The theater owner cancels Angier's booking and Angier's reputation is left in tatters. Cutter sends Angier to a science lecture to get some new ideas. Nikola Tesla is preparing to demonstrate several huge, fantastic Tesla coils, generating immense electric charges that seem to fill the room. Because of the perceived danger, the demonstration is cancelled by the authorities. But Angier spots Borden in the crowd and follows him, learning about Sarah and their new baby Jessica. Angier's obsession over the rivalry grows. Intercut with this storyline are Angier's attempts to meet with Tesla and commission his own transporter machine. Tesla has supplied all of Colorado Springs with electrical service in exchange for being allowed full use of the generators at night, when the residents are sleeping to conduct experiments. When Tesla finally agrees to build the machine for Angier, he warns that it will take a great deal of time and money. In Borden's diary, we learn that both magicians start performing again. Borden, as the professor, has a dramatic new trick called the transported man that has been getting him attention. Angier and Olivia, who is falling in love with her magician, watch it repeatedly and are unable to tell how he does it. The trick appears amazingly simple. Borden gets into a cabinet on stage right and gets out of another cabinet on stage left. Cutter insists that he must be using a double, but Olivia insists that she can see the bandaged stumps on his left hand, both when Borden disappears and when he reappears. Angier and Cutter copy the trick and add the bit of showmanship and flair that Borden's version is missing. In his version, Angier throws his hat across the stage and walks through a door on one side of the stage, secretly drops through a trapdoor hidden behind the door frame onto a padded cushion while a double simultaneously is hoisted out of another trapdoor behind the door on the other side of the stage to catch the hat. They hire an out-of-work actor named Gerald Root to be Angier's double. He's a drunk and a lout, but he can perform. The new transported man is an amazing success. Angier still doesn't know how Borden does his version of the trick. Angier decides to send Olivia to work for Borden and spy on him to get the secret. Olivia, who is in love with him, doesn't like the idea, but does as Angier asks and becomes Borden's assistant. To gain his trust, she tells Borden how Angier's trick is done and offers to help him improve on his own act. Meanwhile, a big problem develops with Root, of course. Root realizes that he can control Angier because he's necessary for Angier's biggest trick and demands money. It turns out that Borden has been influencing him, and Cutter thinks Olivia may have betrayed them. Root's performances get more intentionally sloppy, and one night, he simply isn't there at all. When Angier goes through the trapdoor, the cushion to break his fall has been removed, and he breaks his leg. He watches Borden pop out of Root's trapdoor and proceed to humiliate him, suspending a tied-up Root from the ceiling with an advertisement for Borden's own act before running out of the theater to his own show. Angier confronts Olivia, who insists that Borden's trick is accomplished using a double because she's seen makeup and wigs lying around. He deduces that such items are planted by Borden as misdirection for her. When he questions her loyalty, she produces Borden's encrypted diary as proof that she didn't betray him. However, the five-letter word to decrypt the diary is still necessary. Angier and Cutter kidnap Fallen, Borden's engineer, and nail him in a box to hold for ransom. When Borden comes to the meeting place in a cemetery to get Fallen back, Angier demands to know the secret of Borden's transported man in exchange. Borden writes down one word. Tesla, which will decode the diary, and suggests that he's teleporting using a machine Tesla built. Borden is then told that Fallen has been buried alive, and Angier asks him how fast he can dig. 
Bing Yu leaves for America to track down Tesla. For the second section of the narrative, Tesla refuses to meet with Anger, and the latter learns that Tesla has run out of funding and is being hounded by his rival, Thomas Edison. Anger assures Tesla that money is no object and Tesla tells him in turn that the machine is already being built. In Colorado, Tesla and Ali have been unsuccessfully testing the machine they built for Anger. They've zapped his top hat time after time with an impressive electrical apparatus, but the hat won't move an inch. Anger comes to the end of Borden's diary and realizes that Olivia actually did betray him. She was in love with Angier, but since he used her as a spy without concern for her feelings, she knew she didn't have a future with him. She gave Angier the diary to prove her loyalty to Borden, who wrote it for Angier. The last entry in the diary tells him that Tesla was the key word to decrypt the writing, which is true, but it's not the secret to the trick at all. Tesla never built a teleportation machine for Borden, and Angier has been sent on a wild goose chase. He goes back to Tesla's lab several times, where the scientist insists that he is capable of building a teleporter, but he never built one for Borden. He tests the machine again, this time using Allie's precious black cat. Allie warns Tesla not to harm the cat. Allie, using the cat's beautiful collar, chains the cat to the spot for the experiment. As Tesla thinks it may be a matter of needing something living, the cat does not like the procedure and hisses, but is completely unharmed. However, the cat doesn't move at all, so Anger leaves in disgust. Then the cat is freed and runs out the front door. As Anger walks back through the woods, a heap of top hats on the forest floor. And this time, there are two identical black cats among them. The machine has been working all along, but instead of moving an object from one place to the other, it creates a duplicate at the destination. Tesla and Ali are amazed, moving from hat to hat and measuring them with calipers. Tesla and Ali continue to refine the machine, now that they know how it works. They have to leave suddenly in the middle of the night, when their lab is burned down by Edison's goons. However, in the care of the hotel manager, Tesla leaves a large trapezoidal wooden box for Angier, containing the components of the machine with instructions in a note. Tesla's note cautions Angier that using the machine is inviting Angier's doom, and warns him to destroy the machine rather than use it. Borden's private life starts falling apart. He's having an affair with Olivia, and his wife is drinking because of their deteriorating marriage. Sarah eventually hangs herself in Borden's workroom after trying to confront her husband about one of his secrets. Angier takes the box back to England and reunites with Cutter. As he demonstrates to an influential promoter, he is zapped with electricity from the machine's Tesla coil, disappears from plain sight, and then reappears up in the balcony, appearing to traverse the distance instantaneously. The show is a hit and Borden is mystified. All he can tell is that Angier's trick involves a trapdoor, but he has no idea what's going on under the stage. Every night, he can see the blind stagehands removing a box from the theater. A few nights later, at another performance, Borden sneaks under the stage, as we saw in the prologue, and watches Angier fall through the trapdoor into the tank and drown. It's clear that Borden didn't have anything to do with it, and he actually tries to save his rival's life by attempting to break through the glass of the tank with a pipe. Cutter runs down under the stage and gets the wrong idea. Borden is arrested. Anger is confirmed dead with Cutter identifying the body. In his prison cell back in the present day, Borden comes to the end of Anger's diary, which gloats that Borden is being blamed for his death. Borden believes the diary must be a fake, until he's called out of his cell to say goodbye to Jess and meet the collector who wants to buy his secrets. The collector, Lord Caldlow, is Anger. Borden is dismayed that he would go so far and involve his child in their rivalry. Angier refuses to help clear his name, and won't even take the secret of Borden's transported man. Borden swears he'll get out and have his revenge, promising Jess he'll come for her. Cutter discovers Angier alive, when he calls on Lord Caldlow to offer him the machine, hoping to convince him to destroy it. Cutter quickly realizes that Angier is remorseless about framing Borden. He says he's figured out the secret to Angier's version of the transported man, and thinks he's gone too far. Cutter brings the machine to Angier, and as he leaves, we see Fallen arrive to confront Angier. This is intercut with scenes of Borden being hanged. Borden dies just as Fallen shoots Angier. The camera pans up to reveal that Fallen has two missing fingers in Borden's face. Angier finally realizes that the secret of Borden's transported man was simple. Borden had a twin brother, and they were switching back and forth between the double roles of Borden and Fallen. One of them loved Sarah, and one of them loved Olivia. They both lived half of the same life never telling anyone in order to maintain the illusion. In a flashback, it is shown that the unmutilated twin willingly let his brother amputate the ring and pinky fingers on his left hand so that they could make the swaps without anyone telling the difference. Sarah, in a scene we've seen before, 
is puzzled and worried as to why the wound looks new and bruised again. Angier, who only ever cared about the glory of wowing an audience, went to far more terrible extremes. In his new transported man, he knowingly created a double of himself every time he used Tesla's machine, and he rigged the trapdoor to drown the one on stage. He never knew if he would be the prestige or the man in the box. The room where the machine is being kept is filled with water tanks, all of which hold a drowned double of Angier for every time he performed the trick. Angier falls and kicks over the lantern as he dies from his wound, and the resulting fire ensures the machine and all the evidence are destroyed. 